I want to talk about my buddy McDonato. You're going to probably notice that he's from the New England area. He has a 12-year-old as his producer, who's also on mic quite a bit. If it's a bit, it's brilliant. The McDonato Show starts now. Hey folks, how you doing there? Welcome to a great episode of the McDonato Show. Boy, this is a big one. And uh, I'm so glad February is here to uh, talk about a big announcement. But I am, of course, uh, I'm your host, McDonato. I've got Danny, my producer, in the booth. Hi, I'm Danny, the other guy. The other guy. Uh, and my special guest today, Lauren Hansen. Hi, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Great to have you here. Um, we'll uh, get to know you in just a second. Okay. Uh, I do want to say first that uh, we might go a little long today. Got lots to cover. So, Laurie, uh, I know you're my program director. You Whatever. Go a little long. Uh, I think it's worth it. But uh, here's the thing. We have a, a very serious you know, topic we want to bring up. You saw in the last show, uh, we're going to announce uh, something very special for a, a firefighter charity. But we're still going to have some fun, right? I like to have fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, they say uh, laughter mm -hmm. is the best medicine. Okay. Unless you had a root canal, in which case Percocet is the best medicine. you agree? I wouldn't know anything well, about anyways, that. Well, uh, anyways, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> but, of course, uh, as we always start off giving thanks to uh, all our fans and all the brave men and women in emergency response. Who are they, Danny? Um, fire, fire, hazmat, hazmat. Law, enforcement. law enforcement, narcotics, narcotics. agencies, narcotics. keep that fentanyl, fentanyl off the street, uh, military, military, army, navy, marines, air force. Course. It gets them out of order. Army, navy, air force, marines. It doesn't Spain. have to be in but the who do we specific include, order. Danny? Who do we include? Coast Guard, Coast Guard, yeah. CIA, FBI, yeah, and all the three-letter agencies, NFL, NBA, but of course the Border Patrol. Keep those illegals where they belong. Yep. Uh, by the NYPD. way, if you're a legal immigrant, come on in. Love to have you, right? My great great grandfather was a legal immigrant. But uh, thanks to all those who keep us safe. So let's get into the show and uh, get to know Lauren a bit. We have a big announcement coming up very shortly. Uh, but first of all, thanks for coming all the way down to, to Fall River here. It's right across the way from where I work. Yeah, so, so, this you, is so actually you know, perfect. you know the uh, yeah, there's the battleship, battleship right uh, cove. Yep, I do. We're yeah. in our the office I work um, at is out of Fall River, right. Um, yeah. Right down the way. Oh, Wall very, Street. very cool. So, yeah. speaking of your, now you're going to say, uh, Nick, not you, but my fans. Yeah. Wh who is this Lauren Hansen? Why? Why is she here? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we're doing this big announcement, and Lauren, uh, uh, you know, uh, Danny, uh, Danny's mom, uh, yeah. Mark's wife, said, "Hey, uh, I know this person who is into web marketing, mm -hmm. and you're doing this big thing." She'd be a great guest to help you promote. So Absolutely. that's why you're here. And I, I want to get your, your input. So uh, it says here that you are a web marketing strategist. Is that, um, is that yes, right? I'm an account manager for a digital marketing agency. That's yep. good because web marketing strategist, frankly, sounds yeah. made up. Yeah, it does yeah. a little bit. All right. Uh, <laughs> but So what do you do? Um, I, you know, I'm a carpenter. Okay. So I can tell people I, I build things. Right. See that house? Yeah, I build it. Well, but what do, do you do? We, we build things. We build websites, um, but we also build a two story condo. <laughs> no, that I no. could not do. No. All right, no. Go ahead. Yeah, no. So um, we're a Go digital pass. marketing agency. So we help our clients with everything from uh, brand messaging and positioning mm -hmm. to um, audience identification, kind of looking at who's coming to their websites mm -hmm. and such, and then we. Um, design and develop the websites and right. yeah really any sort of content help that someone might need whether that's copywriting or video or um animation right. so a lot of a lot of marketing terms that uh yeah. my fans won't understand okay. uh but that's good so uh but basically you help people get the the name out there yes right yeah, absolutely and, uh you know get get known uh yeah. very cool um have you watched uh our show 
I have seen an episode or two. I watched uh, when Laurie was on. I oh, yeah. That was... Way back when. That's a while ago. Yeah. Oh. So uh, maybe you can uh, help us. I'd love to. You know, promote this show as we're I trying sure to do. Will. This entire month of February. Uh, yep. By the way, I've got to be honest. Um, I'm glad you're here. Trust me. Uh, we were <laughs> going to have uh, oh, here we a, go. a Patriots cheerleader. And I actually wrote to the Patriots. I, I went on to the website. You can write to them. I said, hey, uh, Bob Kraft, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, can you get a cheerleader? Um, and I was in contact with one. Okay. But she couldn't make it. Um, well, I'm so kind of like a cheerleader. Well, I was going to ask, have you yeah. ever been a cheerleader? No. No. Mm -mm. All right. Never officially. Yeah. Much for that. <laughs> do you know any cheerleaders? Um, I do. All right. Close enough. Yeah. Close enough. All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, again, want to get to this uh, this announcement, but still want to get to know you. So uh, just real quick. Yeah. Uh, uh, you married? You have, you have kids? Uh, yep. I'm married. Okay. Sixteenth wedding anniversary was um was yesterday actually. Yeah, it turns out um, I knew about that. So uh, Danny, I sent you a, a clip. This came oh, from no. Lauren. Uh, yeah, Lauren's been married sixteen years. God yeah. bless you. Yep. Uh, can you bring it up there, Danny? Oh uh, yeah. Clip. You got it there. Oh no. Is it buffering. <laughs> Is it buffering. Go ahead and play that clip. What are you doing, Danny? Push the button. Oh, All right, so this... This was last night. This is your husband. Last night? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. That's, That's why you. I'm a little slow today. We were out late. That's what I thought. Mm. <laughs> That's you on the right. Yeah. That's me. Serenading you. Yeah, he really was. It was something else. <laughs> was that unexpected? Uh, it was unexpected. I'm actually not allowed um, to karaoke because oh, really? I'm so Even awful band? at it. Yeah. Look at you. And, yeah. Lovely. Where was that? Uh, the Greyhound in uh, Tavern in Bridgewater, oh, cool. where I live. Yeah. You ever been there? Uh, no. Well, I don't make it to Bridgewater. Yeah, you stay put here in yeah. Fall River. Yeah, I tried to. All right. That's pretty uh, Yeah, so that, that was... Wait, is that you singing? Uh, Were you singing a little bit? I, a little. I, sh I shouldn't have been. <laughs> I disagree with that. Oh, boy. All right, Danny, yeah. take it down. Take it down. <laughs> Danny, take it down. Okay. No, you gotta be patient, right. Mick. <laughs> so I so, thought yeah, that was fun. It was fun. It was hysterical. Good yeah, good. my husband's something else. Now, here's the thing. That song mm -hmm. is from like the 70s. It's an old one. And you guys knew the words. Well, yeah. So how old are you? Oh. You knew the words from us. I, I, uh, don't answer that. 43. I know not, I'm 43. I know, no, you don't have the answer. Well, that. I am. Don't look a day Just, over yes. 38. <laughs> And your your anniversary was uh, what day exactly? Uh, January thirty first. January thirty first. Yeah, um, yesterday. So, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um, of course, a lot of people get married in January. <laughs> so here's we my question. Well, we did here's my question. Event. What? Sixteen years, right? Yep. And you have kids. We have two kids. Yep. How old is your oldest kid? My oldest kid is. Not quite 15 yet. All right. So you, you passed the test. <laughs> yes. I was just yeah. wondering if maybe that January no. wedding was. Uh-uh. Anyways. So we got, we got to know Lauren a little bit. Thank you so much. Folks, it's time to get into why we're here. Yes. Uh, the, the, the big announcement. And here's what we're doing for the month of February. We are promoting a fundraising campaign for... An injured firefighter, medically retired firefighter from the state of Massachusetts. His name is Scott Holt. Goes by Holty. And Danny, go ahead and bring up the, the website there. Uh, bring yep. it up so we can show the folks. I'm so excited. So there it is. The Hope for Holty campaign. All right. Lieutenant Scott Holt. He's retired. Medically retired. Scroll down there, Danny. Uh, you can kind of read. Click the read more, Danny. And it kind of talks about, you know, his story uh, back in 2017. He was injured uh, fighting fire, right. quite frankly. And basically, uh, he and his wife and his family, they need money. They I'm going to get money on there beyond and what the insurance and the pension can cover. Yeah. And Whoa. God bless them. David um, with $100. Yes. You can see we already have a few donations. You just started off. Alex, my mom. And now, we did set a $1,000 goal uh, for this. But. We already raised $250 and we've just announced this. 
It's crazy. So I think we're going to increase that goal. Yep. I think you, you think, should. Mom? I definitely think you should. Does that make should. sense from a marketing perspective? It, it does. Because I don't want people to think, oh, you hit your thousand, you're good. No. Because you... they need all the money they can get. Yep. So it is at, uh, and the, the links are on the screen, GoFundMe uh, slash F. I'm not sure why they put the F, but MDS dash hope. You can go there. Or Danny, go to our website uh, right there. And you can see right on our website, mm -hmm. mcdonato.com, we have a, a direct link. You can donate from right there. And you can share it on Facebook. We can okay. share it on yeah. Facebook. Uh, folks, we want to get this going. Uh, it's a very important charity. Um, God bless them. <clears throat> I've been in touch uh, with his wife over the last couple of weeks getting this set up. And uh, we're going to do this a whole month of February. And you might say, well, why February? It's the shortest month of the year. It's 29 days. Exactly. Yeah, we've got, got an extra, extra day, day in there. this year. Mm -hmm. It's a leap year. Do you know yep. that, Danny? Yeah, I knew that. So, I know uh, things. we're going to make it happen. And I think uh, we're going to blow it away. Um, <clears throat> even at a, a $1,000, and I'm going to up that to, to 2500 at, at least. Yeah. But we have, just on our show, like uh, 400 friends, Danny. Whoa. So if we have 400 friends, and each one of them donated how much to get to, to the to 2500 2500 uh, the six dollars twenty five cents. Like six bucks. Good thing Dina's here. I didn't have nothing. to do that math. It's nothing. No, it's not. Right? So um <clears throat> we're gonna push this I out. I think that's what it is. We're gonna push this out uh on, on our Facebook, uh on the Twitter. I don't have as many followers on the Twitter. Yeah. The Twitter is tough. Yeah, but uh, we're gonna get it out there. So look for that. And we're gonna have great guests all month of February to push this very important campaign, Hope for Holty. And I hope you support it. And another special surprise right now, we have calling in uh, one of my former guests and a good friend of mine, uh, Travis Ravello from Mass DFS. Uh, Danny, is, is Travis on? Um, yeah, we on got there? Travis on Skype on. right now. Bring him up there. Hi, Mick. Hey, Travis. How's it going? Good. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Uh, Danny, a little more volume? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so, Travis, thanks so much for taking... you on uh, duty today? What are you doing? I am not. Oh, okay, so you got some time. Thank you so much. Uh, Travis, with me is uh, my guest, Lauren Hansen. Hi, Lauren. Uh, Hi, Travis. Nice is, to meet uh, you. Digital nice to meet you also. Marketing, something or other. Yeah. But uh, she's helping us promote. Travis, uh, I wanted you to, to call in. Uh, you were the one that turned me on to this campaign, Hope Holty. Uh, you know Scott, obviously work with him. Uh, Travis, can you just talk to the audience about why this is such an important campaign that we're doing? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, as you kind of covered earlier, Scott was a firefighter up in Littleton, Mass. Uh, had an accident on duty um, and ended up getting a neck injury uh, and ended up with some paralysis from it. Yeah. Um, he is uh, he is in a wheelchair. He, he had to be medically retired from the department. Right. Uh, he was also a hazmat tech up on District 6, yeah. and he worked at the hazmat office with us also. Um, great tech, great guy. Uh and, and, and sorry, you, Travis, just as I was explaining to Lauren, so in the state of Mass, uh, you have six uh, regional districts for hazmat, but basically everyone who's on hazmat, also a firefighter, right? So you guys put out fires as well as go to hazmat calls, so pretty dangerous. Yeah, stuff. absolutely. Every every tech that's part of our system is a full-time firefighter. It has to be in order to be on our teams, yeah. uh, to be covered for things like accidents right. um, and you know medical problems like that. Um when he was retired medically, he, he was um, taken care of by the department. Okay. But there's a lot that it doesn't cover um, yep. as far as, you know, just just the necessities of being in a wheelchair and trying to make stuff handicapped accessible. Right. Um, all the expenses that come with that is, is just not covered in any way. So to be able to do fundraisers for him and his family is, is incredibly important. And really I know that, that you guys through your state conference have done some stuff uh, to raise some money for the foundation, right? We have. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically, it takes a village, right? Yeah. Yeah, you just got to get everyone together. And I'm hoping that, that all my viewers, all my fans, and all those who donate, who share, say, hey, ch chip in five bucks, ten bucks. At least. If a bunch of people do that, yep. uh, it's just going to be multi multiplicative, I think, is the word. But uh, they're going to get uh, what they need. And as Travis said, right, yeah, hospital stays, I'm sure insurance for the most part, right? Therapy. Uh, I'm sure for the most part, but it's it's the things you don't think about. I was just gonna say, I'm sure yeah. there's a number of other things that aren't even coming to mind. And that this could use this, help this with. guy, and he's not the only one. Uh, this is the foundation, but these men and women put the the yeah. lives on. They don't know. 
Right. When they go to a fight, was it a fire uh, that he was at? He got injured. Uh, so, so it was actually it was actually uh, he fell off the top of a fire engine and uh, suffered a neck injury when he fell. Can you believe um, that? Ended up with uh, paralysis because of it. So yeah, and so every day they go out. Now you go uh, uh, come down to Fall River. Go to your work. Yeah. How dangerous is it? Not very dangerous, no. right? No, no. Yeah. I what's travel. The big, what's the biggest but... danger you 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 know have to worry about? Jeez, I don't, uh, burning my tongue on my coffee. There you go. I mean, for me, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> if I hit my you know thumb with a the hammer, I'm using the nail it. But right. again, these men and women, yeah, every day they go into burning buildings. Yeah. You know, they and and every once in a while, uh, unfortunately, things happen, and that's why it's yeah. up to all of us to support them. Uh, so, Travis, we're, we're going to focus this month on the, the Hope for Holty Foundation. Uh, but, you know, I hope that this just raises awareness in general uh, for the bigger community, for all those emergency responders, fire, even the military, right, uh, that, that get injured and just need, need our help. So what do you think? Yeah, a- absolutely. I mean, um, the fire service, the military, we all have the same problems. You know, they, they cover the major injuries, but there's a whole bunch of things that go along with that that aren't necessarily covered so yeah. um you know I, I have a lot of uh, military in my family uh, yep. my daughter serves that's right she's uh, in the, the the navy right navy correct yes, god yeah. bless her um so it's uh it's something that I, I i care a lot about and especially where it hit close to home with scott uh we'd like to make sure we can get him and his family taken care of and so, travis uh, are you in touch with uh scott and his wife uh sort of regularly uh, uh yeah yeah. I, I I text them from time to time. Okay. I try not to uh, bother him. Sure, um, sure. Because I know I know I know he's going through a lot right now. But I just you know I reach out to make sure he knows that uh, we're always around and whatever well, like he I needs. Said, I, I was in touch with his wife as we're setting this up. Uh, if you're in touch with him, just give him my best. And you know what? I hope maybe they see this show and they get a little laugh. Because uh, let's face it, like I said, uh, you know uh, we want to support them, but everyone just wants to just relax in yep. the state. So. Travis, uh, anything else you want to add? No. Again, I appreciate you guys doing this. I know uh, because of Mark, he has a, a, a lot of stake within the hazmat community. So I know yeah. a lot of folks follow you from that community. So I'm hoping uh, they all take a minute and reach out to Scott and help any way they can. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Travis, for joining. Appreciate you taking the time. Hey, we'll talk to you soon, buddy. Thank you both for doing this. We appreciate it. All right. We'll see you. See you. Take care. Uh, again, folks, um, how can you donate? You can go to uh, GoFundMe slash F slash MDS dash hope, or you can go uh, to my site, uh, mcdonaldo.com, uh, and right there on the main page, click donate. And please, folks, chip in five bucks, you know, chip in 10 bucks. That's not for that all much. that these you know? folks do for us. Exactly. Exactly. And then share. All yeah. right. So what do you think, Lauren? You I'm have- doing it the minute I... Wrap the show up. I believe that you will. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks. Um, we're going to shift gears a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, and I, I'm so glad. We're going to keep the, the links on the screen. So people can see. Yeah. But I want to talk about something fun. Okay. Right? Um, just to uh, get your, your take on some stuff. I like that. Okay? All right. So uh, the Oscars mm. or the Academy Awards, I guess, is yeah. the one. So, uh, you know that uh, this weekend is the Super Bowl, right? I did know that. That's yeah. uh, We record on Saturday. It's tomorrow. Uh, but then next Sunday is the Oscars. Right. So, you're going to watch it? No. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Probably <laughs> Maybe. Not. I'll probably, you know what I will watch? Um, the entertainment news to see what people are, are wearing. Now here's the thing. But you I know will... how back in our day, and I'm a little older than you, but... Um, Remember Billy Crystal was the host? They always had a host. Yep. And he'd come on and do a big number at the beginning. It was like right. a thing. You'd say, oh, I want to watch the Oscar. I want to think. Right. They don't do that anymore. There's not even a host this year. What do they do? I don't know. It's, it's so politically correct. Ugh. You know, Ricky Gervais well, they... has no chance. I don't know if you saw him on the Golden Globes. Oh, I missed that. Too. Yeah, he, he pissed off a lot of people. Oh, boy. Being, uh, you know. Well, yeah. everybody's so easy, easily offended nowadays. It's like, it's crazy you to piss off, you know? Yeah, I know, facts. it's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, what was that, Danny? I said facts. Facts, yeah. So, I just wanted to go down the list. I have them here. Uh, okay. the, the nominations for Best Picture. We're not right. going to go through all the crap. This is Best Picture. And just kind of see, you know, have you seen it? Whatever. Okay. So, uh, all right. I got these from the uh, the website. All right. Ford 
V Ferrari. Any clue? No. Never heard of it. Uh, heard of it? Didn't see it. Yeah. Didn't see it. Don't care from it. Uh, the Irishman. Never even heard of it. Never heard of it? I've heard of it. I didn't even. I've never even heard of it. It's uh, Martin. Uh, is it Scorsese? Danny. Oh, I don't know. You know him, right? I, yeah, I no, do. You don't know him, but I mean, you know No, who I he don't is. know. I don't know him personally. That's his big comeback. Okay. Uh, now, have you seen that? Oh, no, God, no. Okay. It's like four hours long. Oh, well, then I definitely won't be seeing Yeah, it's that. terrible. Uh, apparently, the, the, have you seen any of his movies? It's always got Robert De Niro and uh, Joe Pesci and okay. all those guys. I'm sure I have. Like um, casino. Uh, yeah. You watch any movies? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Apparently <have> not. T- <laughs> I don't have the attention span. Do you know who Robert De Niro is? I do know who All right, he is. Here we go. I do. Apparently, he's like five feet tall. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, he yeah. You heard that? that? And he has to wear lifts. Oh, in his shoes. I, I'm five feet tall. I know. He's got to wear lifts to make him look taller. Well, he's got a big <laughs> personality, so he that does. sometimes helps. Uh, you know what I heard though? What? I, I didn't see the movie, but just like listening, uh, Joe Pesci. You know him? Yeah. Or know who he is? I know who he is. He was like the only good performance. Oh, well, I guess I won't put that on my list of stuff to say. Beat up a bunch of people. <laughs> I don't know. Don't care. Uh, next one. Jojo Rabbit. I, I mean, what the hell does that even mean? I've seen advertisements for it. It looks like it's about some kid who's like... Yeah? Like, I don't know, like fairy godmother's Hitler. Oh, what? Geez, I'm not making this twist. up. Oh, he's geez. he's mentored by Adolf Hitler throughout the uh, movie. It's, it's like German, I think. So let's put that one on the list to not say. To not say. All right. <laughs> so we've got a couple on the list to not say. All right. What else here we got? Because a bunch of them. Little Women. <laughs> Seen that one? No. <laughs> I think my mom saw that one. Yeah. Uh, your mom, Laurie. Interesting thing, though, about Little Women. It has uh, uh, a character, a male character, named Laurie. What? Do you know that? That seems, that's, that's kind of funny. Yeah. I mean, uh, I think his that. last name is Lawrence. They call him Laurie. Okay. Right. Um, kind of like Scott Holt. They call him Holty. Now, I'm assuming that's... Little Women is like based on the It's not the about book. little girls. No, but is it? <laughs> is it? Is it? Jemina Little Women? Yeah. By the way, have you read the book? Uh, years and years ago. You haven't yeah. seen the movie? No, I, I Let me ask that. you this. Are you a book was better person? No, I don't you know read books. You I'm talking books. about? I don't read books either. It was the asshole? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I but saw no. Little Women. Oh, I read the book. Book was better. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> I think I read the book because I had to back in like grade school yeah. or something. Anyway, Laurie saw it. I don't know. I guess it was Did she I, like it? I don't care. Mm, She's not here. So, uh, <laughs> all right. What's another one? Marriage Story. Oh, God. Never heard of it. No. You, you know, they should make a movie about my marriage. That, didn't, right? that would so be pretty to, sad. To that, uh, that a, no. unholy demon spawn of an ex-wife. You've been married 16 years. Yeah. You ever been divorced? No. Yeah, don't do it. Wait, don't get divorced? Yeah, it's not good. I mean, but you no. wouldn't want to stay with somebody you weren't happy yeah. with. That was the thing. I was happily married for 16 years. 16 and then years? unhappily married... Well, another year. And then that okay. ended. Yeah. And then, well, now, remember the last episode? Last show? No, I don't Denise remember. texted me. You know what she wants me to do? What? So she's shacking up with some guy, Derek, with and our two kids. She has custody. I okay. see them once in a while. Uh, they're going on a cruise Where during uh, the February uh, vacation. Oh, the school break, vacation. yeah. You know what she wants me to do? Watch a damn cats. I was just gonna say I, I was gonna guess a dog, but no oh, cats. cats. Now, are you dating? Oh God, no. Okay. I've tried. I'm on the tender, but <laughs> yeah. I've told Laurie, you know, things don't work out with her and mine. Oh. You know, she. There you go. No interest. Really? No, Laurie, I'm kidding. <laughs> you know that. Uh, what else? Uh, God, don't worry. Uh, once a time, to- uh, that once upon a time in Hollywood. That's a Quentin Tarantino. Oh. Uh, you know him? Not personally, no. I know that. I've heard, you know I've heard of him, yes. Pulp Fiction? Yeah, that yeah. was, yeah. Have you seen this movie? No. I rented it and fell asleep about two hours in. <laughs> it's another How one of those. How long is that one? I don't know why. It's, it's so long. Couldn't. Ugh. Yeah, a good movie is like. Just couldn't do it. Oh, and a 
half. Hour and a half. Yeah. Eight, 80 minutes. Get me out of there. Yeah. Yeah, jeez. All right. Uh, Parasite. What? Danny, anything? Parasite? Never heard of it. Best picture. Parasite. Best just picture. They're saying of all the movies made in 2019, these are the best. Right. Hmm. Here's one I did see. And I actually kind of liked it. Joker. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what that's about? Um, The Joker? Well, yeah, the Joker from the Batman. Yeah. Right. But it's kind of about... I did hear about that one. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. No, no. But it, so basically Joaquin Phoenix is yeah. the lead. He plays... Uh, it's called Joker, but he plays the Joker. Okay. But it's kind of like his story uh, at the beginning. Yeah. It's kind of weird. He lives with his mom. Okay. All right. And he has this condition where he just starts laughing uncontrollably. So there's like a scene when he's on a bus. Like an evil laugh? No, no. It's like he's on a bus, yeah. just riding around, and some little kid's looking at him, and he's sitting there, and he just starts laughing. Okay. And then, he, you know what he does? He gives the kid a little card yeah. for the mom, and it's like printed up. It says, I'm sorry I have this condition. I start laughing. Don't freak Don't out. Don't freak it's out. It's really okay. weird. It is weird. And he wants to be a stand-up comic. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty cool. Check it out. Fuck. No, it's the best picture. Joaquin Phoenix, you know who he is? Yes, I do. Yeah, think he's cute? No, yeah. not my type. Did you know? Uh, bring up a picture of Joaquin Phoenix there. Go to the Google. Oh, all right. And, uh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. That's him. Uh, this is a photo looking. shoot for Joker, so he's kind of all you know, mysterious. You see that thing uh, above his lip? Yeah. You know what that's called? No. So. People say uh, he had, it's a cleft palate. Okay, right. All right. Now, I've heard that it's also, it's just like a scar. You know what a cleft palate is? Is that what you're like? Yeah. The, 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 apparently, uh, the, the derogatory, <coughs> excuse me, derogatory term is called a hair lip. Oh. You ever heard that term? No. All right. I learned about this. Okay. All right. So, uh, take it down, David. Take it down. Yeah, I'm sick of looking at him. Do you know who, uh, you know the Wendy Williams show? Yeah. You, you know who she is? I know who she you is. You watch it? I've never watched it. But you know who she is. I know who right. she is, yeah. So she has a show. She was talking about this. So Danny, I sent you a link. Uh, bring right. it up there. Uh, and, and make sure you check the volume. Uh, uh, yeah. Bring it up there. And when right, he shaves off his mustache, uh, he's got uh, a hair. Pause it, Danny. Pause it. He's got pause. one of those. Um... All right. So this is uh, Wendy Williams, but... What we're watching is the Anthony Cumia show. Okay. All right. This is a podcast that I watch. Very similar to Oz, a video. And they're talking about, Wendy Williams talking about Joaquin Phoenix. Okay. So it's kind of like an inception here, talking about them, talking about them. Right. Yeah. But anyway, it, it'll set up. So go ahead and play that, Danny. You'll see what I mean. And when he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline fracture. He's got one of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip. Yeah. Cleft palate. Cleft palate. Oh he's, he's got this. Yeah. He's got this. Uh -huh. No, I, oh find it to be, I find it to be very attractive. I don't know. It's not quite. No this. one's clapping. All right. Take a guess. <laughs> no one's clapping. So that was Anthony Cumia. You heard. He's the host. Mm. And they were talking about. How she was kind of making fun right, of him, right? That. That's not nice. On a show. So they got on to her. Oh, boy. And oh. this is where I learned that the term hair lip is a derogatory term for cleft palate. Okay. And a lot of a lot of kids, like, especially older, see, uh, you know, they, they suffer from this. Right. Thing, right. So, Danny, uh, now I want to follow up. Play the clip from the Anthony Cumia show um, where they talk oh, about yeah. this. This is like the follow up they okay. did. Okay. All right. And I was like, hair lip? It doesn't yeah. make sense. Why would they call her a hair lip? Because I thought it was H-A-I-R lip. Yeah. And it's H-A-R-E lip. Like a rabbit. So rabbit has that lip that goes up like that. Yeah. And and when I finally found out, years later, it's like that I just revelation that. thing. Yeah. The mo moment you're like, oh. Yeah. When you thought something for so long, mm -hmm. and then when you're an adult and actually hear what it really is. Yeah. Isn't that an amazing moment? I'm not going to lie. I played along just now, yeah. and this is new information. Too. There you go. <laughs> Take it with you. Enjoy. I, didn't know. I had never heard hair lip, and then you nice. had to bring me. By the way, that guy in the blue shirt, yeah. it, I finally got that's Dave Landau. A rabbit. A rabbit. Okay. Going to be a uh, guest story. on the next show. I thought oh, it was cool. uh, on Skype. Um, 
Look at uh, him. On a restaurant, the little thing that goes over the patio. An <laughs> awning? I thought Thank it was a yawning this until right I was like 25. Well, not a yawning. And then I worked at a restaurant. Washing. And I was like, I had to go uh, <laughs> wheel up the yawning. The yawning. <laughs> and I, I had been working there for like That's six months. And finally someone was like, you, you keep saying That's yawning. You took the E from B and extended it to a Y for the awning. There you go. The awning. Back to the carrot subject. Oh, my God. Take it down. <laughs> well, I learned something today, too. First of all, yeah, I learned something. Uh, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, the day Dave landed out of the... Yeah. 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 It's rabbits, mm. right? Uh, but he's going to be our guest uh, on Skype in the nice. next show. Um, he's promoting uh, his latest stand-up special. Okay. And, of course, we're going to ask him to promote, guess what, Danny? The fundraiser. The Hope for Holty Foundation. Yeah. So, all right. So, what do you think? Who's going to win uh, Best Picture? Those, um, um, were those all of them? I hope Joker. That, that was all I saw. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I mean, I'll say the Ford versus Ferrari. All right, with that. That's my. You know what? I don't even care. Yeah, I don't either. I don't care who wins, but I have a prediction for the Oscars. What is that? I predict that whoever wins, <laughs> we're going to hear a lot of whining. Mm-hmm. About Trump being acquitted Ugh. by that time. Sick of it. See, you think what you want. I'm just saying mm-hmm. that when you watch that, God forbid um, the Irishman wins. Bob De Niro gets up there. Oh, Oof. that would be yeah. He's oh god. He does not like Donald Trump. No, he does not. Uh, all right. We have to, with all our guests, yeah, switch gears again. Okay. And guess what, Danny. Yes. We got to play. What is it? Oh. Uh, uh, What's your favorite sandwich? Uh, hit the intro, Danny. Uh, 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 yeah. And now it's time for What's Your Favorite Sandwich? With your host, Mick Donato. All right. So how this works, yeah. if you don't know. Have you, have you seen uh, What's Your Favorite Sandwich? I have. All right. Danny, yeah. my producer, has to guess what your favorite sandwich is. Okay. So you think about it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And just a little bit. He's going to draw it. Are you doing it now, Danny? I'm thinking. Are I'm you, thinking you, of sandwiches. We're, we're running long. Okay. Uh. And while we're waiting, uh, I want to point out that what's your favorite sandwich, of course, is uh, brought to you by our great sponsor. He wants a sandwich for you. Uh, great website. Go on to sandwichforyou.com. Order what you want. And they deliver it uh, directly to your door, hot and fresh, in the patented Sandy Wrap uh, packaging. It's like carbon fiber. Uh, deliver it by drone. Uh, wow. So you order a meatball sub. Yeah. Shows up in just a few minutes right at your door by drone. Nice. And it's fantastic. Sandwichforyou.com. Great sponsor. Um, Danny, how's it going? I'm writing a sandwich. Uh, you about ready? No. Oh, Lots of pressure. I guess we'll wait and uh, again, talk about um, something yeah. while I draw. <laughs> or Hope right. for Holty, right? Mm-hmm. Very important. Are you going to uh, share with your friends? I or? am going to share. Do you know any us. firefighters? Uh, My uncle was a firefighter. Okay. Yeah. All right. In Quincy, years ago. Quincy Nass. You know any uh, military? Like come from a military family? Uh, my dad's a Vietnam vet. God bless him. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. God bless him. I know. He doesn't talk about it. Mm. <laughs> My uh, my dad was in the uh, National Guard. Okay. Uh, didn't have to go uh, get deployed. Anytime. But, you know, you never know. Yeah. Never no, know. I know. Support all the Great troops. Respect. Danny, how's it going? I'm drawing it. Oh, jeez, Now, Danny. have you ever taken one of Laurie's um, mm-hmm. classes? Classes about... Like at the gym? Like her group fitness classes? Gym? You don't go to the gym? God, no. No. You no. didn't meet at the gym? No. 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 I, I, I met... Mark originally back oh. when our, our boys were in like Cub Scouts and T Ball okay. together, and then I met Laurie through that. Gotcha. She's great. I've yeah. had her on the show, as you know. Yeah. Um, she She's a she kind of acts like a mama bear. <laughs> with Danny well, sometimes, she loves me. She All right, does. Danny, how you doing? I finished. All right, we're ready. All right. All right. So, moment of truth. Okay, wait. Do I just like show it to the? Just hold on, Danny. Danny hold on. Lauren okay. Hanson. Web marketing strategist, developer, whatever. Yes. 
what is your favorite sandwich? My favorite sandwich is actually a salad. Does that break all the rules? That's not a sandwich. <laughs> Danny, show us. Show us what you guessed. No, let's say an actual uh, sandwich. Then please. it would be a sal like a Greek salad wrap or something. Oh, yeah. Okay, a that's, a that's a Greek wrap. That's a Greek wrap. Okay. Well, that's All not right. what I wrote. Um, what'd you put, Danny? What'd you put? Uh, bacon. Wait, bacon, egg, and cheese on flatbread foot long with American cheese and barbecue sauce. It's <laughs> a very specific I'm, sandwich. Yeah, and I have a reason though. Yeah. Before we recorded, I had. Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese, yeah. American cheese, foot you, long with barbecue mom, sauce. When your mom and, brought you down and to the she studio. Said, she said, my favorite sandwich might be one of those, and so I mm. took that hint. I didn't and even I, know he was listening. And yeah, I wrote the exact sandwich that I had, but I guess it wasn't one of those. Yeah, so when, uh, when, when your mom brought you and Andy down to the studio, yeah, she brought lunch, and I guess you were saying. Yeah, yeah it all right. did look good. Well, guess what? On flatbread. You lose. <laughs> By the way, if you win. What happens if you win? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> we got to wrap up real quick. Right. Super Bowl is, uh, well, I say tomorrow. Got a Greek salad wrap up. All right. We, 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 <laughs> geez, Danny. Horrible. Good one. If you're watching this show on Sunday, you might be watching the pregame, right? Super Bowl, because we put this out on Sunday. Right. Uh, I don't even care. What's it? 49ers, Chiefs? I honestly don't even know. Not even going to watch. I don't care. Uh, Once the Pats are out, I, you know. I didn't even care when the Pats might have still been in. <laughs> Do you know uh, that Tom Brady might lead the Pats? No, I hadn't heard that. Well, you don't really follow sports. No. He's just getting know. too old, right? Right. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's what I say. Yeah. Now, marketing, right? Yeah. Let's work on this. People watch the show mm -hmm. during, uh, you know, they have like 12 hours of pregame. Yep. Watch the show with all the friends. Okay. Right? Yeah. Put a couple beers in them. Yeah, absolutely. Then what do they do after they watch the show? Donate. They're going to the donate. Yeah. They go to the Hope for Holty. Yep. They're going to be feeling generous. Yeah, they're generous. Had a couple yep. beers. Oh, yeah. Can't wait for the game. Yep. That's what they should do. That's exactly And like I said, um, we put $1,000. I'm going to up that because even if we hit that goal, what should we do, Lauren? You, you're going to need more. I would up Keep it going. to five grand. I might. Tell you the truth. I might. Keep going. Because yep. as Travis said, look, folks, uh, this family needs your help. Yeah. And I want to raise awareness for all those families. Yeah. And this is, you can donate the whole month of February. Whole month of February. Yep. That's. We're running this campaign. You can actually donate even after that. Right. But that's when we're running the campaign. Yep. So can't wait to see. Uh, and we got Dave Landau coming on next week. Uh, we're going to promote his latest special. Mm -hmm. We're going to have him promote our show, get some national attention. Nice. Cannot wait. Um, Lauren, thank you so oh, much. Oh, thanks for Come having on. me. Uh, folks, plugs are on the screen. Uh, anything that you want to plug, Lauren? You got like a Twitter uh, website? I don't do uh, the Twitter very well. But no, I mean, I work for Imagine, so you could go to imagine.com and check out our work there. Yeah. And um, I teach group fitness classes over at Bridgewater Fitness. And, there you go. Yeah, so come on. Go come on uh, take some aerobics with Lauren. Well, Put on spin. your leg warmers <laughs> and your yeah. bandana and Do it. work up a sweat. You should come to a class. Oh, God. That'd be horrible. Uh, folks, as always, uh, give thanks to the emergency responders. Absolutely. Our fans, not just our fans, all the brave men and women. Yep. Fire, hazmat, law enforcement, narcotics agencies. Keep that fentanyl well, off I the street. Well, I supposed to also yeah. be saying them. Yeah, you don't know them. I wasn't really paying attention. Military, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. I include you, Coast Guard, even though you're not part of the DOD, unless it's time of war, but include you. And, of course, Border Patrol. Keep the fentanyl uh, out of the country in the first place and keep the illegals where they belong, but... Legal immigrants, come on in. Love to have you. Love to have you. And, of course, all the three-letter agencies. Um, you know, I'm getting mixed messages here. FBI, CIA, you First say, keep the illegals where they belong, and then right after you say, if you're an illegal immigrant, I'd love to have you. No, legals. You. Legal. Legals. Legal. Oh, legal. Legal immigrants. Yeah. Oh. By the way, even if you're an illegal from, like, uh, Norway, I don't care. Right. Doesn't matter. Wherever you come from, please, please come on over. But just do it the right way. Absolutely. Like my great-great-grandfather did. I agree. Um, anyways, and please, folks, support the Hope for Holty campaign. Uh, the family needs your help. Thank you so much. Again, thank you, Lauren. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, I really appreciate fun. it. Danny, any final thoughts? Uh, football. Yeah, football. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> Folks, uh, we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye. This has been The Mick Donato Show.